So I've asked the question before, how lean is too lean as a cyclist? And you'd think that being as lean as you possibly could, having 0% body fat, less mass on you for gravity to pull down on you with, so that you can climb faster up mountains, you'd think that would be a massive advantage. But as we're about to learn from Tom Staniford, the world's leanest cyclist, at probably around 0% external body fat, it's actually a massive disadvantage. Tom Staniford has the genetic condition MDP, which means that it's very difficult for his body to store fat under his skin like most of us do. MDP also means that his joints fatigue incredibly easily and it requires a lot of physiotherapy for him to be able to do just normal everyday things that we take for granted. At least for Tom, you would think in a world obsessed with weight loss, with being skinny, with being lean, having what Tom had would be something that you'd want, that it'd be great to be able to eat endlessly all the cake you wanted and, and never get fat. A bit like that, that scene in The Simpsons where Homer is in hell being fed the endless amount of donuts. But actually, Tom has to watch incredibly carefully what he eats because he's actually got type 2 diabetes, which is, which is astounding because you would think that type 2 diabetes is normally associated with people who are incredibly overweight. People who are obese, they're the people who have type 2 diabetes. But to come along and solve that mystery was a Professor Hattersley who, as you're about to see, he conducted some MRI scans of Tom's body to find out the cause of his type 2 diabetes. So on the top here, there is a scan of somebody's body without lipodystrophy, so who stores fat normally under their skin. And you can see a, a thin white sort of um, corona around the edge of the body where the, the fat is, ex is stored externally. And then the scan below is Tom's body and you can see the massive amounts of white, the fat being stored internally around his organs, which is fat being stored in all the wrong places, which is an incredibly bad situation to be in and, and the cause of his type 2 diabetes. Half the people with type 2 diabetes that I see are not obese. And it's just that they're too fat for their storage. It's really helped me to see Tom, who was about the most extreme case of that that you could ever find. Because by seeing that, you really can understand the much more general idea of what's the problem in type 2 diabetes. So the two most important things that we've learned from the leanest cyclist in the world is that how lean is too lean, 0% body fat is too lean. No fat is no benefit to cyclist or human. And also type 2 diabetes is best treated through exercise and lowering the fat intake in your diet. You want to lower the amount of fat that you're carrying. You want to, be, you want to increase the storage. As the doctor said, you know, Tom and people who have type 2 diabetes are just too fat for their storage. So you want to exercise, burn the fat, and also decrease the amount of fat that you have in your diet, which Tom wasn't really adhering to <laughs> in the video. I don't know if you remember the advice I gave you early on, Tom. Avoid the takeaways. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you know, it just shows the transformative power that cycling has on the human body. What, what a tool it is. You know, if somebody who gets fatigued in their joints as easily as Tom does can still cycle as much as he does and burn fat internally to be able to take himself off type 2 diabetes medication, then, you know, it, this Tom's story should be a massive inspiration to anybody out there who wants to get fit, who wants to reach their fitness potential, who just wants to burn a bit of fat. Cycling is the most efficient way to do that. With rice, table sugar, fruit, and juice. And Kempner knew back in the 50s that sugar makes insulin work better and cures diabetics. But you see, we've got it entirely backwards these days, thinking sugar causes diabetes. You know, it's just, it's so backward and bizarre, nobody stands a chance. 